All right, partner, we're live. Wow, good evening everyone and good evening partners. Andiyan na ba kayo Leo and ano and Gilbert? Good evening, good I, I don't see you anymore. Yes, good and evening the, partners Fabi and Gilbert. Ma, nice to naman. Nice to see you uh, both. Nice to yes. see you guys again after uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks na two na nawala weeks tayo no. Uh, Sometimes it um, happens eh yung yung may mga technical yeah, so, eh, o kaya di ba parang pero there's something big that we're preparing for everyone, di ba? Parang galing yes. sa nananahimik yeah. man. Oh, meron naman tayong pinaghahandaan. <laughs> Parang naalala ko tuloy mga series-series. Ano, oh, so, sa ating mga viewers, <laughs> we're also, ano, yeah, we're preparing something, ano, we're preparing something for them. So, abangan nila yan. So, we will be, uh, we will be re- having uh, Pinoy, kaya mo yan, uh, anong tawag nito? Anong, anong version na to? Pinoy, kaya mo yan, uh, 2.0 na siya, kasi nag 1.5 na tayo with uh, video. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna share mine. Uh, kumusta naman kayo mga partners? yung mga pinagkakabisihan niyo Leo and ano Gilbert Well you know um, looks like things are starting to become better yun naman yung maganda hopefully nagka-flatten na yung ano yung yung sinasabi natin yung yung mga positive cases pero so pag kasi sinabi natin looks like returning to normal I've been getting a lot already of you know some increase in engagements that will keep me uh, and the rest of the team actually active and uh, engaged. In fact, Fabi, mm-hmm. we have a program in the next two weeks, Leo. Um, mm-hmm. Ayo, mm-hmm. naman? How are you, Fabi and Leo? Well, as usual, ako naman, ako, I've uh, been busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ikaw muna, Leo. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Ako naman, uh, yeah, busy din, ano? Uh, more than ever because um, other than, of course, as uh, I, I was sharing uh, the past uh, few episodes uh, other than the HR uh, duties that I do no, for companies where I am a consultant. Um, I'm also actively uh, involved in uh, COVID response no, of the television network where I am a part of. No. Um, and I think that that also, that, well, um, it's, it's quite rewarding also at times because uh, knowing that I'm part of taking care of uh, the people during this uh, during this pandemic, you know, uh, their health and safety. So I'm actively, proactively involved in in planning and all other functions and other tasks that are of uh, great importance, you know, to the health and safety of our people. So yon, uh, busy pa rin, uh, as usual. You know? uh, other than that, of course, trying to reconnect again with. Um, a lot of my HR, uh, ano, no? lalo ng mga PMAPers kasi, di ba, no? parang malaking bagay yung nawala yung physical na monthly meeting natin, Gilbert, di ba? And, uh, no, ha? The, the PMAP annual conference is upcoming. Upcoming, yeah. Involved. October 21 October. and up to 23. So involved yes, oh. So I'm helping oh, uh, to develop and, you know, program. We would Hopefully, like to invite, of course. Happy and Leo, mga session chairs. Let's see. Yeah, and then let's invite uh, you know our our uh, friends here, uh, our followers in Pinokaya Moyano. If you wanted to learn from uh, not only from HR practitioners but even from from other people, managers and CEOs, who will be part of uh, the uh, annual conference of the People Management Association of the Philippines. Just message us, get in touch with us. With us no, um, in fact, baka makapag sponsor tayo na mga friends natin who would be wanting to to join no uh, the conference via of course no via the digital means no? so uh, wala pong physical na uh, ano convergence ang mga HR practitioners for this year's annual conference so yon ikaw partner Pabi ano ang uh, balita sa akin no, ang balaan ni partner Pabi <laughs> other than your biking every weekend <laughs> <laughs> Talagang yun ang aking pinagkakabisihan to keep me sane because yung sports ko in diving is not yet allowed. Oh, so Fabian, like, I heard na it. talagang bawal pa din. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have to try that Gilbert and Leo live tayo minsan. Pero siguro baka next year magiging open for everyone. So mm-hmm. yun, it's really still busy for me. I wanna greet people from my company, Denso Agents Network. 
Uh, we're now going to be called Densu. Uh, we, we've dropped the name of AG. So this is, uh, this is where I'm part of. And as you know, I'm, I uh, head of HR here. And HR people are the frontliners. You know, not only do we handle the recruitment, but we also handle uh, the employee welfare of individuals, which is so timely this evening, mga partners, kasi we were able to invite someone who would be mm -hmm. talking about um, how to ignite their fire in us, diba? And this is not only applicable to employees, but to uh, to the Filipinos in general. Because yeah. I'm sure, diba, mga partners, you go through ocean of roller coaster ride of emotions, there are days where we're not feeling good. I mean, kahit na where we know very well we have to be positive all the time, but it's not it's not gonna be perfect every day. And I think we need to be reminding people or reminding ourselves to always being keeping positive. Diba, uh, Gilbert, what can you say about you know how do you feel about being yeah, maganda. You know, I'm excited to hear from our guest speaker tonight that you've invited. Kailangan natin yun eh. You know, life is like a, again, it's a it's a journey of ups and downs. Hindi naman all the time you, you're up. Di ba? Parang when you're down, make sure lang that you bounce forward para naman mag-move mag -move ahead. So, yeah, Agree. Ako, ang aking ano dyan, ang aking... Uh, Therapy, Jen Fabi, is talk to people like you, the two of you. Pag nakakausap ko lang kayo, it, it brightens, it, you know, gives you, rejuvenates yung the entire thing. Eh. Parang feeling mo, oh wow, it's like another new day. Even if it's like 8 o'clock and we have many uh, many of the followers tuning in tonight, parang they all look forward to. I remember one time that when we were off the off uh, off air, people were asking, mm. you know, where is Sana? Parang like, They've started longing for like the Pinoy Kaya man. So kudos to the both of you for bringing this to, yeah. you know, to the front of the many Filipino lives, especially during the pandemic when you brought it back again, Fabi and Leo. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Thank well, you we for everyone. Actually, no. Like yes. you. So, yes. Uh, uh, supporting mm -hmm. us, helping us get guests every week. And then, of course, I'm looking forward to your new dessert that you want oh, yeah. that you've also put up. Actually, I was planning to send the both of you tonight. Kaya lang, <laughs> I was so swamped with many things. But you know, ano yun, ha? if I may just say, proud to share that it's, I, I did a lot of, uh, my, so, so I did R&D para ma-discover ko how to put it all together. So originally, mm -hmm. it was the crispy red ruby. Leo, we're talking about the the Thai, Thai dessert. The Thai, yeah. So that's my um, promise. I'll send it on Monday para when we when we are having our live session, you'll have to take it and let oh, me know. Yeah. <laughs> so, I saw, I saw, with I saw the, the stories. With the coffee of Leo. With the coffee. And the coffee of Leo. Yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. so, uh, and dami yung mga side, ano, side uh, businesses. <laughs> Okay, congratulations, oh. Gilbert, for, for putting that up. It looks good. I look forward to tasting it. The natural All fun. right, so... Fabi, natural food yun. Um, either fresh fruit or talagang ano siya, from the root crop. So, hindi, hindi, hindi siya yung typical food that are artificial or whatnot. It's natural. Mm -hmm. Kaya, I think you saw uh, like a daughter of one of, the, of my friends a uh, model also. Talagang kinakain niya, nag enjoy siya because it was banana. Banana mm -hmm. in, uh, in salted mm -hmm. caramel. So, mm -hmm. I'll let you try that next time. <laughs> Let's do a review. Uh, Let's do a review of wow. that. Okay, uh, I look forward more. to your dessert and Leo, a coffee. Coffee, correct. <laughs> Definitely. Yes, yes. Of course. Okay, I think All we're right. ready to proceed. Alright, so... We're, we're privileged to have a good speaker for tonight. He's also a motivational speaker, a corporate trainer, a multi-awarded entrepreneur, and a best-selling author. Okay, let me read, of course, have to give credits to our speakers who, who we invite here. Let me read the better way of introducing him. So our speaker for tonight is an entrep champ is one of the most sought after and celebrated Filipino motivational speakers today in the Philippines, right? So he is renowned for his Learn Joinment brand of keynotes and workshops and for the best-selling book entitled Strategies of a Champion Entrepreneur and recently released book called Stand Out, How to Lead Without Losing Your Values. 
a book on ethical leadership. He also is a resource speaker on national TV and radio. He delivers engaging educational and experiential talks as well as he has been consistent in terms of sharing his real life strategies and principles, offering transformational value to his audience. He is also equally uh, comfortable to companies in presenting all these programs um, such as Mindset of Champion, Cavs at Work, Sales Masters Program, The Moment of Truth in Frontline Management or FOR, uh, NLP-based team building program, okay, that's great, main ka NLP ako dito. Ethical leadership program, mm -hmm. and then for standout, simplified strategic planning, and the next ladder. So uh, let us welcome an award-winning entrepreneur and acknowledge to lead corporate and business plenaries and general assemblies, conferences, and summits, and kickoff. We're privileged to have Mr. Paolo, Paolo Tibig. Yan. Nabubulol ako, Paolo. Pasensya na. <laughs> okay. Now, good evening, naman. Paolo. Basta palitan lang yung yun ang ay. Hello, hello. Uh, good evening, Pavi, Leo, and Gilbert. Magandang magandang gabi sa ating mga viewers. At uh, you know, it's a Monday and uh, lahat tayo, di ba, parang paglunis talagang uh, uh, go, go, go. In go, fact, go, hype, hype tayo. Oo nga eh. And uh, <laughs> lahat tayo are looking forward to Alam mo, lagi natin tinitingnan, Biernes na sana. Pero, <laughs> di ba yun? Okay na sana, or kins, a kinsa na sana, or a trend. A kinsa na, or uh, Biernes na. Di ba, yun ang lagi natin tinitingnan all, all, all throughout of uh, the days in a week. But, you know, at the end of the day, we wanted to ensure that, uh, alam mo, that if there's one good thing about uh, what the uh, pandemic has uh, brought about, is that learning never stops doon lamang sa ating mga boardrooms at doon lamang sa ating mga companies. Di ba? Yeah. Learning right now, eh talagang any time of the day, ano mang araw of the week, and mm -hmm. so on. Uh, okay. Alam mo, just share with you, nung isang, nung isang araw lamang, uh, I was speaking to a, uh, to a uh, uh, beauty company na ang uh, engagement namin is 9 to 11 ng gabi. Gabi. <laughs> gabi. <laughs> Oo, 9 ng gabi. There was a time naman, I'll be, uh, I'm speaking to uh, a retail company na ang oras namin ay eh, alas 11 ng gabi hanggang alas 12, alauna. So, ibig sabihin, parang talagang siguro ngayon, uh, eto nga yung nakakagulat, diba? the last thing that you would hear from most companies and organizations is that uh, learning motivation will be the parang least of their concerns. Diba? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm into, uh, I mean, uh, I'm into business also. And uh, diba, within the within the business uh, circuit and circle, lagi ang pinag-uusapan how to keep the business afloat and so on. How are we going to survive? Talking about how are we going to restra uh, restrategize, restructure the operation and so on and so on. Diba? Parang ganyan. So ngayon, uh, surprisingly, uh, those who wanted to get ahead of the pack mm -hmm. really get their team motivated and uh, ano pa rin, talagang uh, kailangan na uh, i-train. Kaya siguro that's one of the good things that uh, like uh, what uh, you've been doing, di ba itong show na nakatulad nito, is a very good vehicle to really help our people, to help our team, di ba our employees. Narinig ko kanina ang sinasabi nyo, ano ba, sanity na ba ang pag-uusapan? Di ba? Parang ganyan. <laughs> <laughs> nung Sabado lamang, nung Sabado lamang, I did one webinar uh, about burnout and bliss uh, together with one uh, international speaker. And uh, we were discussing about things about uh, parang steps to uh, handle burnout. No? Parang ganyan. Kasi nga, uh, based on study, lumalabas na uh, internationally, yung pagtatrabaho daw remotely is now burdensome to a lot of uh, mm -hmm. our employees. Mm -hmm. Tama ba? Uh, mm -hmm. Tama ba pa, Leo and Gilbert? Parang, parang yun, ang, yeah. yun ang nakikitang trending. So, bakit? Di ba supposedly, parang dapat daw na napa, napa buti. Napagaan. 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 And then, ang daming, ang daming supposedly plus factor. But, mm -hmm. aliwas no, sa pinag-iisipan natin, eh parang ang totoo. Parang ang totoo. Kasi, okay. talking about, uh, di ba yung... Uh, work from home becomes really not work. Di ba? 
Oo. Oops. Oo. <laughs> Yun. Kala ko nakamute Kasi, ako. Parang working from home, marami kang ginagawa. Binabalansin hmm. mo lahat. Diba, no, Paolo? Okay. Siguro that's one. That's one of the things na kung bakit parang mas nagiging mabigat dun sa ating ma- sa bawat isa. Kasi nga, uh, di ba nandun na yung trabaho mo. Pangalawa, nandun yung manage mo yung pamilya. Di ba? Eh kung may hmm. anak ka pa... Uh, yung pati schooling nila, alam mo yun, nakatuto ka doon, et cetera, et cetera. And siguro kung may proyekto ka doon sa bahay na gusto mong tapusin, baka lahat yun are into, coming into play siguro sabay-sabay. Plus the demand siguro for work, ra- lalo na ngayon, di ba? Uh, hindi ka ilan mm. sa atin that we've uh, seen a lot of closes, we've seen a lot of retrenchment. Alam nyo, I'm also uh, managing our businesses and we have also retrenched uh, some people, unfortunately, kasi talagang hindi mo na kayang, ano eh, alam mo yun, wala sustain. nang way to sustain. So that's the, uh, one of the problem and I think with with that, gusto natin i-lessen sana yung impact with one another. So parang getting into the platform, how can we help people in so many ways na as much as possible talaga intact pa rin sila. But you know, uh, reality also tells us that uh, we have to do that kasi uh, it's mm-hmm. strategic we have to decide on certain things. Yun nga lang, Uh, may tatamaan at tatamaan talaga. Kaya nga, uh, hmm. siguro the more that, uh, the more na talagang ang taas ng need for our people to get them uh, really on track, uh, ang taas ng pangangailangan to really drive them well in that uh, particular uh, ways, di ba? How to maximize our existing resources, di ba? Not necessarily our financial, but syempre yung ating manpower, yung ating mga assets to begin with how can we optimize all those things and um, for 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 other companies right now yung gantong pandemic medyo magastos din medyo magastos din talaga kasi diba we have to sustain our people in so many ways kailangan maging maayos ang kanilang pangangatawan di ba yung mga test na require may kailangan ka ngayon pabahay o pa, hindi naman talaga pabahay but kailangan kung kaya ni staff oh, mm-hmm. parang staff house kailangan i-house natin sila uh, transportation and uh, yun yung mga mga bagay na, na nagiging ano, nakakadagdag but still, ang lagi ko nga sinasabi that we have to really be thankful pa rin, so still, nandyan pa rin tayo, we have to be grateful and just mm-hmm. count the blessings that we still have, I mean yun pa rin yun eh. How to lessen looking at the brighter side of things. Di ba? Parang ganyan. And uh, uh, what do you call this? Yung parang uh, yung point of uh, what's in it for now. Then we have to face things that it's what's happening. Di ba? That's where mm. dun mo papakita eh. How a standout mm. leader works. And how how we can face the challenges ahead of us from now. And t- wag naman sana mga mga susunod na pagkakataon magaroon pa ng gantong pandemic mm. din. Okay, yeah. So I hope na yeah. <laughs> I hope na lahat tayo lahat tayo eh nasa ano pa rin positivity mindset. Nandun pa rin dun sa alam niyo yung mental model natin na while everything is happening, yung shifting pa rin ng mindset natin, yung modelo ng pag-iisip natin eh maayos at maayos pa rin. Taking all these things. Yan. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Anyway. Go, yes. go Leo. Sige, mauna sa question. <laughs> yeah. You, um, there are good, actually there are a lot of good points, no, na binring up ni Paolo, no. Uh, but of course, at the end of the day, uh, there will there, there will be really people na, kahit nasabihin natin that they have to think positive, but, you know, they will always tell us na, na wala na ako ng work. Eh. I need I need money to sustain my family. Lalo po kung pamilyadong tao, for example. Ano. Oh, yeah. um, but but you see, um, I, I think kasi ako, like, personally, um, of course, no, uh, apektado din talaga ako. No? Uh, laki nang nawala sa income. Um, and, 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 and at times, I have also, I also think of myself na parang, um, part, parang meron na, I mean, baka na sa denial stage lang ba ako na Actually, meron akong mental issue, parang ganon, di ba? No? Um, and it pays, it, it, you know, it really pays off uh, yung, worry, yung worry kong yun, no? yung anxiety na yun, na merong 
kumakausap, merong kumukunsta, mm-hmm. merong tumatawag, merong nagcha-chat, merong nagte-text. Malaking bagay kaya kasi yun eh. Um, kasi nararamdaman ko yan eh. Um, I myself uh, experienced it na parang ang sarap pala ng feeling na uh, yung time na, kasi syempre kung minsan, di ba? I have to be honest with you. Uh, may, 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 may ano din ako kung minsan eh, na parang uh, gaito na akong level, pero bakit parang ang isip ko sa sarili ko parang katulad lang din na ibang tao na apektado sa pandemya ngayon, apektado doon sa nangyari sa business, apektado dahil sa nangyari doon sa, sa mga naging kliyente ko na wala na ako ng income. And then I realized na after all, I'm just also human and I need also somebody to, to actually may kumusta. No? At yung Monday night, actually sa totoo lang itong Monday night, malaking bagay no? um, na nagkakaroon kami ng itong klaseng interaction with people like you who are, who, who are our guests. No? Na parang it, it actually... Uh, veers us away from that that kind of a thinking o na pandemic nito talaga malaking bagay malaking epekto para sa akin no um, yeah sabi natin for one hour one and a half hours maybe uh, pero it it ano eh it sustains us also eh na parang ha carry lang carry lang lalo pa kung kausap ko si Fabi kausap ko si Gilbert yung aking mentor di ba malaking bagay yun eh na uh, nagkukumustahan kami tapos nag nagsuportahan kami kung ano man yung mga maliit na mga bagay na pinagkakabalahan namin na nakakatulong para maiwasan yung pag-iisip ng sobra sa mga bagay na wala ka namang control ika nga di ba exactly. oh, so yeah so so yun lang kasi ako whatever i whatever i learn uh, yeah we share we share our our journey during this pandemic six months na tayo uh, here sa uh, on air pero the same regular time regular na ano tayo regular na Yeah, I learned at the same time I learned from our guests, I learned from my partners here. Na, and then I shared also with other people. So I think that's the, the that's the essence also of this program. Now, you know, we are not just here as a venue, as a platform for people to actually share stories, but also learning. We are also learning and that's that's one thing I uh, I forever will be forever grateful for. And I have friends who will continue to nourish me. And uh, with all these uh, ideas and learning that I can also share with other people. Di ba? Oo. So, yun. Actually, Leo, gusto ko yung nasabi mo na ano, yung control. I, I mm. like that. I like that. You know why? Um, totoo naman to everyone, no, na kumbaga, we cannot control COVID. We cannot control people. We cannot control, uh, alam nyo yung parang, uh, may tinatawag na parang circle of controls. Na yung circle of mm-hmm. controls, Uh, parang two things kasi ito eh. If I remember right, there's one that circle of uh, uh, concern and circle of control. Yung circle of concern, ito yung mga bagay o yung mga pagkakataon sa buhay natin, yung nakapaligid sa atin na oo, concern yan, pero hindi natin dapat sa pagtuunan ng pansin. Kung baga meron tayong bagay na dapat pagtuunan ng pansin, which is, dapat yun yung circle of control natin. Ano ba yung mga circle of controls natin? For example, our emotion, as you mentioned, yung anxiety natin. Y- Mukhang naghang. Naghang yata si ano, Paolo. But then again, there's one thing that we can control. It's really the Uh, thoughts that is running on our mind. Ibig sabihin, um, parang pag pinag-usapan mo, behavioral to eh. ba? Diba? Alam natin, ang, ang nakikita ko lagi dito, and I always tell this to, to a lot of people, uh, ang isang key talaga dito is the acceptance. Acceptance of uh, what is happening around us. And then from there, once na ma-accept natin yung mga nangyayari, yung mga nakikita natin, yung mga bagay-bagay, then that's the time that we have to now develop ourselves, our sense of uh, uh, yung attitude natin towards uh, really facing all these things. Kaya nga ang mahalaga dapat dito, parang we know exactly ano yung triggers. Parang bakit nga ba, di ba? Ano nga ba yung nagtitrigger sa atin? Uh, starting nung bago mag-start, uh, two weeks, a week or two, Uh, during the pandemic, uh, nung ECQ, particularly ECQ, uh, tinitingnan ko nga yung, sabi ko, anong pwede kong gawin to use my platform as a public speaker to really uh, spread and help people. So that time, I developed one particular model and I developed one free webinar 
na yung parang how people can cope with, uh, in times of crisis. You know, it was well received. Tuwan-tuwa nga kami noon kasi talagang talagang lahat ng tao parang gusto talaga na magkaroon ng ganong pagkakataon. As you mentioned, Leo, Gilbert, and Fabi. Di ba? Yung parang parang ano to, isa social to eh. So I developed what I call as Mephisti model. Yung Mephisti model, it's a uh, ME or for mental. And then yung um uh, yung yung P is FI, financial. And then yung S is social, yung natpag-uusapan natin, yung napag-uusapan natin ngayon. And then yung another S is spiritual. And then yung lastly, uh physical. So Mephisti model. So it's a well-being holistic approach wherein Paano nga natin tatanggapin yung mga nangyayari? Yung bang on mental aspect, di ba? Parang ganyan. How do we keep uh, sanity? Parang paano natin patutuloyin at patutuloyin yung ating pag-iisip ng tama? Eh remember, hindi naman natin alam na ganito tatagal na. No, nang pinag-uusapan lang natin, ah baka isang buwan lang yan o ilang linggo lang yan. Okay na tayo dito. Manood na tayo na lahat ng Netflix, iFlix, pati Skyflix na. I-flex na natin to. Kala natin, ganun lang. Eh ngayon, anim na buwan na. Anim na buwan na. Ang tagal na pala siya. So mental. And then, uh, talks about financial. Definitely. Yun ang agam-agam eh. Fear of the virus. Fear of possibility na mawalan ka ng trabaho. Mawalan ka ng kita. Eh that's the fear. So how do you address now the financial aspect? Doon sa modelo ng well-being. So I suggested, recommended a lot of things on... Uh, winning business options uh, as an employee as a key executive ano nga pwedeng nating gawin pa parang ganyan kaya nga di ba parang nakita natin lahat na yata naging ano to naging culinary chef lahat na yata naging master baker may isa lang na ayaw natin naging shopping cart master <laughs> yung lahat na yata ng <laughs> tama ba Gilbert no parang yeah. naging shopping cart master na yung lahat na lang eh guilty ako diyan <laughs> Yung bang order at tabo. Comfort master sa Lazada. I think it's a good thing now. Wala yun na akong apps yan. Wala na. <laughs> well, that's one. Na, I know how it is. That's one of the things na gusto natin. Dapat tinanggal natin. Tama ka eh. Tanggalin natin yung apps, yung mga, yung platform ng, wala tayong magagawa eh. Kasi yun talaga, naging shopping cart master tayo. Kaya nga talaga sila ang namayagpag. Di ba? Parang ganyan. Oh my God. <laughs> And then yung social, it's a social aspect. I, I, I tell people uh, dun sa model na yon that sabi ko nga, if that time, that time, di ba, social distancing, then I recommended based on that model that yung social media distancing to get away from the negativities. Wala namang masama na, alam mo, unang-una, di ba, okay. kumita ang telco sa atin. Sabihin na natin, nag endorse ako ng telco previously at lagi ako na-invite ng mga telcos. To tell you honestly, talaga kumikita sila. Di ba? Talaga namang nagbabayad tayo ng ano natin, uh, uh, whether telepono yan, et cetera, et cetera yan. Pero, ang sinasabi ko nga, nothing wrong with social media. It's just that, yung karamihan ng ibang tao, sobrang haba na. And then, ang nangyayari na lang doon, yung, yung mga nakikita mo negativities, parang una, nag, nagbibigay lalo sa yun ng kaba, nagbibigay lalo sa yun ng uh, kapahamakan for some people. So, anong sabi ko nga doon? Uh, medyo pwede bang social media distancing kung kaya at hindi naman ganun katagal sa social media. And then get and absorb. Yun lang magagandang bagay. Kasi yung mga panahon na nag-iisip tayo, anong, what will happen and, and, and so on and so on. That's social. And then spiritual. Social also with our families, di ba? Sabi ko nga, di ba? Looking at on the brighter side, for example. Di ba matagal na panahon? And I'm sure lahat tayo. Lahat kayo, busy-busy. Lahat ng viewers natin laging busy. Lagi nating uh, lagi nating parang wish list natin for some nga bucket list pa to. Sana mahabang bakasyon, di ba? Sana mabigyan ako ng pagkakataon sa pamilya ko maging mahaba akong oras na nasa bahay. Sana wala nang traffic. Alam mo 'yun, parang ganoon eh. Sana yung mga dati kong gusto maging physically fit ako na hindi ko dating nagagawa mag-exercise. Sana matutunan ko na yung bagong recipe na gustong iluto. Lahat lang yung binigay sa atin. Di ba isang iglap lang binigay nung ano eh, binigay nung nasa taas. O oh, sige, parang eto. O oh, yan. Ngayon, may reklamo ka pa ba ngayon? Parang parang binigay na nga sa iyo. Nakita mo ngayon, di ba? That's part of the social yung uh, model na sinasabi ko nga na parang binigay sa atin 'yon and then 
Yun, doon sinasabi mo, Leo, doon nag-nurture. Doon nag-nurture mga relationship natin with our families, with our friends, you know, with our associates. Dati-dati, hindi mo man natatawagan, hindi ka nagsusum meeting, etc. Ngayon, lahat yata ng pagkakataon, nagawa mo na. Mula high school classmate, elementary, di ba mga kamag-anak na hindi nakakausap, mga colleagues sa, sa, sa negosyo, sa trabaho, and so on, eh nagkaroon ng parang instant connection again. So that's social, di ba? Parang to keep us a same. And then spiritual, definitely the connection, mas lumalim, di ba? Mas naging personal for some other people. Mas nakita natin na mas marami naging prayerful, di ba? Baka ang pinagpe-pray lang matapos na po yung pandemic. Sana hindi lang yung pandemic yung pinagpe-pray natin. Di ba yun ang gusto natin? Lahat naman, di ba? Parang ganyan. And then lastly, physical. Doon sa model na yun. Parang alam naman natin how uh, yung, yung kailangan nating wellness and so on and so on. So that particular model, Mephispi model, really works uh, well to all of us. It's a holistic approach on how do we uh, accept things na nangyayari at, pagkata- at pagkatapos nun, paano natin siya kumbaga it's a guide it's a guide that uh, can help us out and um, nakita natin na uh, ngayon somehow we're now adapting di ba with uh, the situation parang kaya naman pa lang umuwi na maaga kaya naman pa lang kumain ulit ng alam niyo yon yung uh, kangkong na talbos ng kangkong o talbos ng kamote na messing kamas na may konting bagoong and so on and kaya naman pa lang uh, Uh, magkaroon pa rin ng pagkakataon sa bahay at habang nagtatrabaho and so on and so on. So these things um, somehow give us the, you know, the strength and uh, the drive and desire to really still pursue what we wanted. You know, at the end of the day, hindi kasi pwedeng titigil na lang tayo eh. Hindi pwedeng wala na eh. So parang ano ba yung na-realize natin with this uh, pandemic? Di ba? ano na realize natin in so many ways and so many things uh, even yung sa internal di ba in external uh, na pagkakataon ano nga ba yung mga mga na realize natin dito internal for example uh, ang dami ko pa lang uh, pwede pang magawa may mga skills pala pa pwede kong gawin pwede ko pa lang gawin pa ito i can still develop this kind of activities and so on and so on external diyan na realize natin da isa siguro sa pwedeng sabihin na natin dyan na um, nakita natin na yung companies natin, yung organization natin will be doing everything to help us out during pandemic. Di ba? I'm sure lahat ng viewers natin will agree with this. Parang one way or another, wag na tayong magreklamo kung ayuda natin financially, hindi naman ganun kalaki. The mere fact na nakikita natin na uh, ang company natin is doing their best to ensure that we'll still be uh, working, meron pa rin pa tayong pang sweldo ng akinsi at katapusan, eh sobrang-sobrang pasalamat natin na dapat natin tulungan yung ating companies ngayon. Uh, recently, I was talking to one uh, uh, group HR also um, just a few weeks ago. And he was telling me about certain product nung kanilang, nung kanilang organization. This is one uh, quite big company dito din sa atin sa Pilipinas. And you know, ang isang na, isang na, naalala ko ngayon sa pinag-uusapan natin, sabi niya, uh, magre-reklamo pa ba naman ako ngayon? Lahat ginawa ng company namin, ni hindi kami nagbawas ng sweldo, ni hindi kami nagbawas ng, ng tao. For that alone, gusto kong tulungan yung kumpanya ko in so many ways na kaya ko naman siya. Yung bang kunyari, uh, ito siya sabi ko eh, We have to be the brand ambassador of our organization, of our, of our companies. Meaning to say, hindi lang trabaho ng sales yan. Eh. Hindi lang trabaho ng, ng account, the, the account management natin o account managers natin. Trabaho ng lahat na ibenta yung kumpanya natin. So ito yung high time for people right now, for, for our employees, to our team, to our executive, to really push and drive our people to really help in terms of business development. Ibig sabihin, uh, ano ba naman lang yung i-share mo sa social media, yung products ninyo o service ninyo. Di ba parang ganoon? Ito nga ang ito nga Leo uh, Gilbert and Fabi ang lagi kong ano eh, lagi kong challenge to sa mga ibang uh, engagement uh, pagka yung uh, ganto ang pinag-uusapan. Sabi ko, kayo ba ni like niyo ba yung yung page ng kumpanya ninyo? Baka hindi niyo pa nga nalalike yung page ng kumpanya ninyo. Parang 
ang nakakahiya naman on our end. Di ba parang gano'n na, eto ang kumpanya mo ngayon, nakita mo ngayon, external na isong, itong realization natin, lahat gagawin nila para nandiyan ka pa rin. And yet, ikaw mismo, ni, ni pag-like na simpleng-simple, hindi mo malike yung page ninyo. Di ba? Yung, may oras ka sa pag-usapan kung ano yung ulam ng kapitbahay mo o yung kuko na, kung anong kulay ng kuko ng, ng kumari mo o yung kamamanicure o pedicure. Pero yung pag-like doon sa, sa, sa page ng ating kumpanya, hindi natin magawa. What does it tell us? Di ba? Brand ambassador, being the brand ambassador. That's another way also is how to encourage our, our people, our team to patronize our, uh, our, 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 our product and services. Di ba? Parang ganyan. For example, uh, ito, ito yung nakakatawa dyan. Eh. Yung bang, uh, sige, sasabi mo, uh, mahal ko yung kumpanya ko, nagmamalasakit ako sa kumpanya ko, and yet, competitor, yung produktong kinakain o tinatangkilik, ginagamit mo sa bahay mo, tell me. Di ba? Parang, 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 in a way, will it help? Siguro, iyon lamang ang paraan. For example, yung mga kliyente nyo, ipatronize mo yung product o service nila. Why? Once you've seen na yung product nila bumebenta, tumataas ang benta, lumalaki ang serbisyo, di ba matuwa tayo na may services pa rin tayo, na may bibigay pa rin tayo, at meron tayong negosyo coming from them. You know, these are ways to, uh, tamang-tama eh, ang topic natin is about reigniting, di ba? Reigniting the fire in us. And those are the things that, um, I hope na parang externally, ito yung dapat learnings natin. Kung baga dapat naiintindahan na natin yun. Um, honestly, uh, everyone, no? Leo, Fabi, and, and Gilbert, nakakalungkot uh, with all my engagement lately for uh, Love of Work program and uh, culture building. It so happened na marami pa rin empleyado. Uh, hindi ko nilalahat, pero marami pa rin po kasi it's always the key takeaway sa gusto ng ating mga organizing na nakakalungkot mang isipin pero may mga tao pa rin according sa mga ibang kumpanya. Ito talaga, there was this one uh, president of another company uh, who engaged me to speak with their team na imagine ninyo ah, magpapaalam. One month lang sila na wala ng trabaho. They're into food business. And um, parang after one month, na ibalik ka agad sila kasi may demand talaga dun sa kanilang ano produ- produkto. But surprisingly, kinukwento nga sa akin when we were talking na parang two weeks pa lang eh nagpapaalam at alam nyo kung ano ang paalam ng mga tao ang iba. Kasi daw market day. Kasi daw may bibilin sila dun sa... Yung, the usual, di ba yung market day? Yung bang may araw ng Webes, Lunes, not your typical palengke day. Wow! Uh, sobrang na, na sobrang frustrated yung yung owner, yung presidente nga ng company na yun. Kasi nga parang hindi pa ba kayo natuwa one month lang, meron naman kayong financial assistance and yet eto na papasok na tayo, parang wala lang pa rin sa inyo. So, di ba parang how do we drive our people to be like that? Na it it tells us that uh, there's so many things that we need to uh, do, di ba? Para sa team natin para sa mga kasamahan natin. Parang nandun pa rin yung bigat, nandun pa rin na uh, frustration, nandun pa rin ba for most people o uh, again, dun sa mga ibang tao na wala pa rin, wala lang to. Parang dun pa rin yung ay, trabaho pa rin ang tingin ko dito. Ganun pa rin yung tingin ko rito. Parang ganyan lang sinasabi nila. So, sabi ko nga, Uh, there's, a, there's a way to really, uh, at this point, is to really reignite, di ba? The, the love, oh, di ba? The love to our, to our uh, companies, doon sa ginagawa natin. Uh, ano nga ba yung mga bagay na pwede nating i-reignite? Ano ba yung pwede natin, paano, pa, paano natin i-ignite yan? Uh, meron akong tatlong, uh, tatlong bagay na gustong i-share sa mga viewers natin. Okay lang ba, Leo, uh, Gilbert, and Fabi to discuss things already? Okay lang? Okay, okay lang. Total, uh, uh, pinag-uusapan natin. Oo. Um, sabi ko nga may tatlong bagay. Oh, there are three approaches on how to uh, reignite the fire within us. One is about, um, alam nyo yung parang, we need to have a renewal of sorts. Ibig sabihin, we need to renew. 
why we wanted to see a better person a better you a better uh, parang a better employee a better manager a better executive a better family man a better uh, sibling and so on and so on so ibig sabihin kung merong na, nagawang um, itong pandemic na to dapat isa yon isa yon na dapat we renew ourselves parang maipakita natin na o oh nga ba parang with this di ba parang ano itong natutunan ko dito? And I can see myself na I can be better off to so many things. Di ba? Parang if I, uh, kung kailangan kong i-train yung sarili ko, kung, kung kailangan kong magkaroon pa rin ng mga activities para magkaroon ng uh, uh, ano yun, yung, yung, yung pagbibigay, pag enhance ng aking skills, ng aking uh, pag-iisip, ng aking pakikipagrelasyon at aking uh, pagtatrabaho then you have to do that. So, ibig sabihin, we need to see a better you. And the way to do it is about renewal or renew. That's the first approach, no? How to uh, reignite. Pangalawa, ang sinasabi ko nga dito, yung, yung kailangan i-rekindle natin. I-rekindle natin yung, yung love to what we do. Di ba, uh, mahabang panahon na, for example, uh, bakit nga ba nag-burnout? Bakit nga ba nagkakaroon ng uh, uh, stress, di ba? Yung uh, problem for mo- many people of burnout and stress. Eh, alam naman natin na yung, yung stress at burnout, eh, yan yung ano yan eh, consolidation of so many stresses in our working life. Kung nyari, nagtatrabaho tayo ng dalawampung taon, siguro yung dalawampung taon na yun, eh, parang bulkan yan, naipon na, naipon na, naipon na, tapos sasabog, and then yan yung burnout. Uh, the other day, I was speaking to one uh, key executive of one um, uh, telecommunications. And uh, nag- nag- nag-share siya. Sabi niya, Pao, tama-tama, sabi niya, dalawampun taon, alam mo ba, Laguna, Makati, Laguna, Makati, magta-travel ako ng two hours, papapasok, pauwi, two hours, uh, parang buong buhay ko, uh, yan na naging buhay ko dito sa corporate life. Alam niyo, parang sabi niya, um, Parang she decided to go out of the company. And ito, ito lang, during pandemic. So after that, so many years, sabi niya, it's so liberating. Parang sobrang, sobrang liberating for me na hindi na ako nagbabiyahin ng ganun. Ngayon ang iniisip niya, ano ba ang meron na pwede kong maging opportunity within dito na lang sa pinakamalapit dito sa bahay namin. Uh, parang taga South siya, parang ganyan. So ibig sabihin, parang ito yung tumagos na, napuno na, gano'n ang dating. Pero, ang sinasabi natin, kung for example, babalik ulit tayo, dapat mas mahal na natin ngayon yung ginagawa natin. ba After uh, uh, reflecting on things, parang pag pinag-iisipan natin mabuti, so, kailangan we need to love what we do. ba why, why to begin with, ba Bakit nga ba nandyan ka sa company na yan? Bakit nga ba nandyan ka sa organization na yan? Bakit mo nga ba ginagawa yan? So there's a thing that we need to rekindle. That's love what you do. That's the approach. That's another approach. Now ito, yung huli, yung uh, medyo na, nauna na nga ako dito sa isang approach, yung about, yung, you have to realize, yung, yung realization na um, we need to move forward right now. <laughs> from where we've uh, ano yung mga natutunan natin uh, during this time di ba i'm sure marami tayong natututunan na yung panahon na to eh while we see maraming negativities na nadulot yung pandemic marami rin naman siyang magandang bagay na naidulot para sa atin personally professionally di ba and uh, uh, sa, sa ating pagsasamahan yun nga linking towards that mephisto model our mental, diba? our financial, social, spiritual, and, and physical. Diba? So, doon, ano yung mga natutunan natin? Ano yung mga pwede natin ngayong dalin? Ano yung pwede uh, uh, i-benchmark natin sa nakita natin with this pandemic? Ano yung mga na-realize natin? So, ibig sabihin, ito yung tatlong bagay o tatlong approaches initially, how are we going to reignite? Remember everyone, we're in the liminal state. Di ba nasa liminal state tayo ngayon eh? Parang ang tanong nga, di ba? 
uh, bab, kaya pa ba natin ibalik yung dati? Kaya pa ba natin ibalik yung pre-normal? Di ba? Kaya pa ba natin ngayon na, well, probably this is the now normal. Uh, maybe it's the new normal. Maybe for some, it's the better normal. And maybe for some, it's the best normal. And I've spoken, uh, uh, spoke to uh, some some already that this is the best normal for them. Why? In terms of the company's profitability, in terms of yung strategic uh, operational uh, activities nila, alam niyo yun yung parang nakita naman natin, eh. meron, meron, mga, meron mga companies, meron mga businesses, industries na talagang uh, very good at this point. Di ba? Nakita naman natin yan. And when you talk to them, talagang they would tell you na Ah, we have achieved already our NIA projection in the last six months. Yung fiscal year namin, parang, wow, nakuha na namin. For some people, parang ito yung pinaka, pinakil of their career. Di ba? For other people, ito naman yung the worst of their career. Di ba? For some businesses, it's the worst thing that, that, that can happen to them. And so on. We have seen the biggest of the biggest name of the biggest name and so on. So, ibig sabihin, we have learned. Diba? Ano yung result diba, with, this, with this pandemic? Um, that approaches can really work well to us. Taking to account na uh, yung, yung renewal, rekindle, at saka yung we realize all these things, then probably it's a very good way to approach the next uh, thing that will happen to us after, sana nga after soonest, yung pandemic. So, For me, that's one first way to achieve things at this point. Ulitin ko lang ha, we are in the liminal state and that liminal state, nasa transition tayo. Yung transition na yan, dyan nakikita, dyan tayo nakikita kung paano tayo, kung paano natin hinaharap yung transition. Kung paano natin hinaharap yung mga gantong bagay na nangyayari sa paligid natin at sa sarili natin. So dyan natin nakikita yung... Uh, Uh, yung mga stability of our uh, pag-iisip, yung behavioral changes na nangyayari sa atin, parang companies natin, parang yung, so ating mga organizations, sa team natin, dyan natin napapakita eh. Uh, kanina yung sabi mo lang, Leo, di ba makausap mo lang si Fabi, makausap mo si Gilbert, and the guests and the viewers and so on, on a Monday night, an hour or an hour and a half, is something that uh, helps us out, di ba? Parang ganon. So with this, ano nga ba yung gagawin natin? How do we reignite? And I hope that three approaches will work wonder for all of us. That's the first thing. Yan. Eh baka magtuloy-tuloy ako, nakakaya naman sa inyo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paolo. For listening to mga igid dyan. And I'm sure si Lileo and Gilbert learned so much from you for, for tonight, no? From tonight's no. talk, right, Paolo? Paolo, you've been doing... Um, in this during this pandemic, right? And you've noticed, guys. And I agree with you. A lot of our employees and those people who are no longer employees are going through a lot of what we call a certain transition part of their life. And I think what helps a lot is we need to be holistic on how to manage and strategize our way to survive this pandemic. Because it's been a long time. I don't think we will ever go mm, back to the yeah. normal, as you we were saying. Oh, But we will mm. prolong, and we will have to live. With the current, and we will have to survive until there is a cure to this. Mm. And really appreciate your models that you have shared uh, with us and to our viewers. Leo uh, Gilbert, would you like to ask or uh, add to anything as Paolo has mentioned? In, in what Paolo was saying a while ago, which is true, no, uh, the pandemic has actually brought and uh, forced uh, individuals to actually evolve from yung persona, their individual characteristic to something new so that if you look at every individual right now they've either learned new skills they've gained new knowledge or they be or you know they became just new person when you say new person and daming resolution yung, mm -hmm. yun, yung, yung connection to the appreciation of the relationship or the deepening of the of the spiritual ano uh yung fate of in the journey of deepening your your communication with God. Kasi ang dami ko nakikita ganyan, no? parang they join this charismatic group, 
They've been going to mass because with the fear of the pandemic, you were forced to love your faith, to embrace faith. You know, so mm. relationship, man. The more you feel like this is the moment, this is the time. I will have to speak to you uh, while we're all on the screen. Which is the of the screen syndrome partners. Parang sa akin, sometimes hindi ko kayo namimiss, pero namimiss ko yung physical presence. Mm. But because we're connecting, this pandemic has brought us to become closer. You know, Paki, mm. parang there, we've always been communicating as if like, parang meron akong kailangan sa'yo, or parang lagi may... It's because the relationship has been established in the virtual mm. So, mm. ang dami, daming mga points that uh, Paolo has shared, and uh, definitely... Something that, you know, while you were talking, Paolo, it was just, I was just like pondering on it and trying to come up with, oh nga, no? In fact, ako, sabi nga ni Fabi kanina, I learned how to appreciate some food. I started mm. to cook. I started mm. to cook. Again, I'm always proud. Medyo may sugat mm. lang, pero yung garden ko, <laughs> gross, no? Pero, I have to. And I'm eating whatever I'm I planted. So, that's good. I've learned something and I became be- I I became a better person. Ikaw, Leo, anong ginawa? Yeah. What, no, well, about? actually, I, I know. I'm, I'm actually what I'm going to share is uh, the things that I may, you recall ko kanina sa ni Paolo about the the model na Mephisp, you no? Uh, mental, yeah, right? Mental, mental first, mental. your mental state or uh, mental. Um, but I think we have to admit and we have to admit to ourselves na this pandemic really, in one way or the other, affected our mental state. No? Um, it cannot be denied, no? Because as what I've shared with you a while ago, I myself was a little kind of um, had an issue initially, no? With that, no? Second, yung financial, definitely everyone was affected. Everyone was really affected, no? However, yun nga, no? Yung, how are we, are we going to face it? Is that I think um, this is also an acid test for us if if what what actually we can do to lessen on things that on expense no um, that are not necessarily not essentials because at this time of pandemic like for example no uh, kahit ano pang sale kasi to be honest with you napunta ako napunta kami ng mall napunta kami ng mall kahapon kasi pinagroom namin sale pa rin miss it talaga ba puro But sale sale no. no. talaga ah, yung mall kanina ng hapon <laughs> nag 50% nag percent ang ang ang, ang, ang um, Adidas o oh, sa mga shoes. Sabi ko, what will I need for shoes? Hindi nga ako nabla. Exactly. <laughs> hindi ako, hindi ba? I mean, hindi naman ako makapag. na nga lang tayo sa bahay. Correct, correct. <laughs> oh, so, yun yung mga bagay na I think we have to really think about how to save on money knowing that we are not too sure as to how long will this pandemic last. Diba? Mabuti na yung isave yung money na lang instead Uh, for future uh, use if we have extra. Yun pangatlo oh. at uh, ang ganda no kasi 'di ba usong-usa yung social distancing, tamang-tama yung SMD, social media distancing, 'di ba? Oo. Oh. Oh. And, and I and I have to tell you this no. I was never so act, I was never that active like in the past no. Um kasi parang ang feeling ko I need really to relax muna Detox. a bit. Uh, may, oh, may detox, term na, no? for some people, uh, they do it social media detox or uh, may pag medyo wide, eh, digital detox. Ganun ang dating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh. medyo, for, for a while, oh, hindi naman ako totally oh, depende, nawala. Depende, oh. Oh, oh. Hindi naman ako totally ah, ako, nawala. Pero yung, hindi na ka... Ay, sorry, sorry, Leo. Ah. Normally, i-share ko lang din. Kasi ginagawa ko rin siya. Pero hindi during the, nitong pandemic. Normally, mm-hmm. yung whole week of Holy Week, Mm-hmm. Uh, parang it's a self-imposed na basta yung buong linggong yon hindi ako magbubukas ng social media. Telepono, kailangan. Telepono, di ba? Pero yung social media, any, uh, kompleto kasi ako ng platform eh, ng social media. Mm-hmm. Totally mm-hmm. hindi ako magbubukas ng lahat na isang mm-hmm. linggo. So for me, it's my uh, way of uh, digital detox. <laughs> mm-hmm. As in parang mm-hmm. away from the maddening crowd. Ganun ang dating, mm. parang uh, mm. ganun ang dating. And, and ako, na, natutuwa rin ako personally kasi parang nakikita mo yung sarili mo. Parang uh, after one week, minsan nga tatama rin ka pa, nagiging nine days na, ten days na. Mm. Eh, what more ngayon? Mm. What more mm. ngayon, di ba? Eh, yeah. for some, for so many people, yung social media ang naging outlet natin. Eh. Yeah. 
Yun na naging outlet natin, di ba? Yun nga lang, sabi ko nga, parang uh, just to get away with some ne- uh, negative, lalo na nung, negative, nung yeah. first few weeks kasi, dahil parang, oh, gumanyang ka lang, parang lahat tayo napapraning na. Di ba, may mga fake news nga, ang daming fake news that time. So, yun yung, yun yung inspiration ko. Bakit sabi ko nga, dapat magkaroon ng social media detox? Parang mm-hmm. lahat tayo naniniwala agad. Oh, ito, kumain ka ng bawang. Baka maging mm-hmm. aswang ka na kasi kakakain mo ng bawang. So, makita ang tiyan mo kasi kakakain mo ng bawang. Eh, yun pala, wala naman palang, wala naman palang ano na bawang that, mm-hmm. kinakakatuloy. Yeah. Eh, you know, you do things. And uh, that, those are mm-hmm. part na, kung ano, ba't nga kailangan kahit konti, tapos isa pa doon, tama ka doon, Leo, nakakatipid ka pa. Mm. <laughs> di ba nakakatipid ka? Huwag ka muna gumamit ng data, huwag ka muna gumamit ng ganyan. Alam mo yun, those things. And, uh, so, it, um, sabi nga ni Gilbert, it's about us. Eh. It's about, minsan, reinventing ourselves. Parang, mm. o oh, nga no, pwede ko nung, kaya ko naman pala pong gawin. Di ba? Ganun eh. In, pero initially kasi, initially kasi, ano, ang in-offer ng mga networks, and I, and I know, marami sa atin dito ang, ang uh, nakatanggap ng text message or even an email from our network providers na they were doubling, doubling up uh, our data, how do you call that? Parang uh, allocation, di ba? I don't know if nakatanggap kayo ng gano'n. Kasi ako sa, sa dalawang uh, network na ano ko, uh, binobo nila eh, yung allocation. So parang pinigyan ka ng, oh parang hindi ka malungkot, panood ka ng Netflix, hindi mo kinakalangan na uh, magumasos na malaki kasi idodobo ng data mo. Na, wala, marketing ano, oh. toy pala. Correct. Kaya lang, yun nga, um, hindi maiwasan na meron kang makuha ng yun, mga negative, na. mga negative yeah. no, sa yeah. wall mo. So yun, medyo yun ang downside lang doon sa sobrang uh, <laughs> doble na binigay ng, ano, <laughs> ng mga network providers. So, tayo so naman, yun, no? ginamit natin, ginamit natin ng ginamit. Natuwa tayo, yeah. di ba? Uh-oh. Kasi nga, manunod ko na ng Netflix. Sabi ko nga, iFlix lahat na, ititlix na talaga nila. Eh. Ititlix na, ititlix na nila. So, ganun na nangyari. And uh, uh, I think marami talaga, marami talaga ang pwedeng uh, uh, nakita tayo na, na nabanggit nyo, pare, pare-pareho tayo may mga may mga learnings. Eh. I mean, may mga discoveries. Parang, mm-hmm. di ba sabi ko nga, parang may mga rediscoveries of things within us. Para bang yeah. the way we see, meron tayong mga innate na mga talents or skills na kung minsan, um, pag, uh, pagka yung nasa wall na tayo ng hard, uh, uh, alam nyo, parang pag uh, end of the line na, then we do things. Uh, by nature, nagiging mas creative tayo. Eh. Di ba, for example, Uh, you know, this is one thing that I have shared uh, in, in the in, in in the first book that I wrote na talagang sobrang naging bestseller and until now it's working. Yung sinasabi ko nga na yung C2C principle, what's the principle is all, is all about? It's about crisis turning to cash principle, C2C. Uh, that was uh, when I wrote that book mga 7-8 years ago. It was a bestseller for X number of years talaga siya. Now, With that principle, ang sinasabi ko nga doon na parang in any crisis, there will always be opportunity regardless of which. Whether you're in business, you're in a professional career, nasa corporate tayo and so on, meron eh. So one of the principle there is that taking to account yung creativity. Ibig sabihin, napapasqueeze out natin yung creativity natin once we're into certain crisis. ba? Diba? Personal man yon. O ito, wala tayong magagawa. Universal crisis nangyayari. So, ibig sabihin, mas nakikita natin people who have that uh, real traction. Yung bang, ah, okay lang yan. Coco, exist ako sa'yo. Gagawin ko to. Ipiface ko to. With that, then you think creatively. Example, with our companies, for example, di ba? In our, in our operations. Parang, okay, itong pandemic na to, Tatamaan yung tindahan natin, tatamaan yung services natin. How do we adapt to it? Then you see, online selling, uh, online services, during the first two to three weeks, meron ako mga public runs. And that time, alam nyo ba na from the insurance companies to real estate companies, uh, nagsimula na yung mga, anong tawag doon, yung uh, online na... Uh, Tripping. Would you believe? First two to three weeks pa lang of the pandemic, may online tripping na. So ano online tripping? Sa real estate, di ba? O hindi natin kayang physically pumunta doon sa property, o ganito gagawin natin. 
Naka, nagkaroon ng ano, nagkaroon ng shoot. And then from that shoot, ikinalat sa lahat ng ahente ng real estate company na yon, nagkaroon ng online trip. In uh, in uh, this one uh, activity that I have shared also in one uh, company na nagkaroon naman sila parang online uh, servicing. Alam mo yon, yung parang they're into services company, services company sila and then online servicing. Servicing ng from documentation to closing of the dis discussion of the deal and then to alam niyo yon so so many things so ibig sabihin nagiging creative in fact um sasabihin natin pwede nang ginawa na to dati pa pero ba't hindi ginagawa kasi nga nakikita natin na yung modelo of that time eh yun na nag nagwo-work so hindi natin na imagine hmm. na yung parang how to take it na you lead the game and then you change the the course of the game eh parang just to be a trailblazer, hindi lahat, tinitread ng mga tao yun. Di ba? Do you agree with that, Leo and, and Fabi and Gilbert? Parang, oo, sige, parang nakikita natin nag-work sa ibang bansa. Yung model na gano'n nag-work. Bakit ayaw natin dalhin dito? Because we don't want to tread another way wherein nakikita natin na baka masyadong risky yan. But during times that crisis, then we see that it can happen. Then we do it. And then we go back doon sa thinking na yun, oo nga, no, ba't hindi ko try ito ngayon sa, sa operations namin? Ba't hindi ito na itry ko doon sa mga tao namin? And so on and so on. So, nakita natin how this principle can also work, C2C. Mm -hmm. uh, sabi ko nga, kung dati doon, applicable on this end, still now applicable on a different scenario, on a different platform, on a different scale. Mm -hmm. So, meaning to say, ah, uh, people tend uh, will will most likely see things kapag kamisa na ano na tayo eh yung bang uh, sagad na tayo eh yung bang nandiyan ka na sa pader wala ka nang wala ka nang lulusutan kumbaga wala ka nang lusot so paano mo siya i-adapt and that's where uh, parang ang, ang ang term ko nga dito the, the loser versus the winner na mindset comes in it's how you embrace changes when you talk about changes how do you first for winners For winners, they will embrace it. But for losers, no thanks. I'm fine. <laughs> Di ba ganun na lang sasabihin sa, okay na ako dito eh. O, kaya, pero kay ano, pero kay winner, ah, embrace ko yan. Pagbabago to eh. So, so mm -hmm. di ba earlier I sabi ko, the key really is about acceptance. It's really about acceptance. Reason why, uh, we wanted really to encourage our people, our team, di ba, our employees, our key executives, to really show care to what we do. Di ba? Parang kailangan. Ako, I always believe that yung, uh, there's a power within the word of malasakit. Di ba? Parang, you know, when you dissect malasakit, maybe sasabihin natin, uh, alas, parang ganyan, sakit. Uh, for me, ang, ang term kasi doon, parang, parang yung root word na gusto kong lagi isin-share doon is about yung malas at yung akit. Di ba? Malasakit. So, ibig sabihin, ayaw natin dapat pa paakit sa mga malas. Parang dapat tanggalin natin yung malas. Dapat naaakit tayo ng mga bagay, ng mga desisyon, ng mga tao at tinatanggal natin yung malas. Parang baterya. Alam nyo yung baterya, di ba may positive tsaka negative? Di ba? Uh, ang baterya, pag pinagsama mong positibo, hindi siya nagwo-work. Diba kailangan parang ang tag ng parang baligtaran, parang magkataliwa sila o opposite sila. So, in our self, hindi pwede when we translate that. Kailangan parehong positive. We don't want people naman na nandun sa negative ayon. Kailangan positive ayon, kumbaga pag hinanda sa baterya. So, imagine natin yung positive ng baterya, siya yung akit. Then yung negative, siya yung malas. Di ba? Kanino tayo sasama? Papaakit ka ba sa malas? O yung malas talaga, hahakutin tayo na para mga black bags na pag isang pulutong pa lang ganyan sila sa palayan, eh, na, ano tawag doon, na peste na ang palayan. So, yung malasakit word na yon dapat ito yung nagre-ring sa atin. Eh. Dapat ito yung buzzword natin. Paano natin mapapakita yung malasakit na yan sa companies natin? Paano natin mapapakita yung malasakit na yan sa mga katrabaho natin? Paano natin mapapakita yung malasakit na yan na lahat tayo sa organization ay eh masasabi na now we're more solid 
now we're more united. You know, because at the end of the day, who will benefit from this? You as an employee, you as the boss, the executive, the whole organization, the customers in general, our valued the partners, and lastly, our families. Malasaki. Di ba? Parang, let's show care to ourselves, uh, to, our, to, to our company, to our, to our boss, and so on. Sabi ko nga, um, uh, four ways to do it. Eh. Okay lang ba? We, do we have time? Quick na lang to? Uh, do we have yeah. still time? Mm. Yeah, we, we, we still have mga three minutes. All right. Uh, quick na lang to. Uh, para paano natin mapapakita? Di ba we're talking about reigniting? And one of the things really is it has to be anchored on uh, malasakit or care. Now, how do we do care to our work? Una, and to ourselves. Basically, one, commit. Care to, ah, care. Mm. Commit. Mahilig kasi ako to play of words. Eh. Commit. Ibig sabihin, uh, we have to commit what is what is expected from us. Di ba? Kailangan <clears throat> i-commit natin more than 100%. Para bang work wholeheartedly and not half-heartedly. Commitment is key. Di ba? Parang ganyan. So, yun na lang. Hindi ko na explain masyado. Ah. Pangalawa, care tayo. Ah. Yung A. Ano yung A? Allow. Allow our organization, our families, our companies to navigate for a productivity playlist. Kasi ngayon, kailangan mas marami tayo, mas maging productive tayo. Eh. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng ang trabaho natin ngayon, triple hat. Di ba? Hindi lang double hat. Kasi mas less ang staff, underman ka, Huwag na yung underpaid, ha? at least paid pa rin tayo. Pasalamat pa rin tayo doon. So, ibig sabihin, we still need to see yung productivity playlist natin working. Di ba? Parang ganyan. And improving uh, for a more efficient and productive manner. So, that's A. R. Remind. Remind ourselves. Remind ourselves. Bakit ka nga ba nandyan to begin with? Ano ang reason? Ano ang wise mo? Bakit ka nandyan? sa organisasyon, sa kumpanyang pinapasukan natin. Remind. We have to be reminded. And lastly, E. Ano yung E? Enough. Enough of reclamation. Enough of so many reklamo, so many unfortunate things na lahat panay nating sinasabi na hindi maganda ab- about our companies and so on. You know, Enough of uh, reclamation. We need to work on, uh, you know, be yung gratitude natin. We have to be thankful. You know, those things. Tama na. Kung baga sa Tagalog, tama na yung pagre-reklamo. Di ba? Minsan na nakikita natin, ang dami nating complaints, complaints, complaints. Tama ni mga reclamation. Pero naisip ba natin na gumawa tayo ng gratitude list, na yung gratitude list na yon, makikita natin ano yung mga bagay na dapat natin pagpasalamat. Hindi lang ng pandemic, even before pre-pandemic, at sa mga susunod pa ng post-pandemic. So, if you try to see it, it's a, a way to show our care. When we start reigniting our fire in this liminal state, and then let our care and malasakit show, di ba? At the end of the day, di ba, yung pagmamalasakit na yan, ang magbe-benefit niyan, pamilya natin. Wow. Very Pabot powerful. <laughs> Very Sana powerful. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Ang dami, ang dami natin. Actually, uh, at, 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 at tawag nito, information pack at saka uh, inspiration pack ang ating, uh, ang ating, uh, ano nga yung nabi, ano, ang ating sharing from our um, guest tonight. Thank you so much, Paolo. Uh, I, for sure, ang ating mga listeners at viewers ay Uh, may napulot na naman ano na mga ano na mga aral ay uh, tips uh, mula sa isang uh, well-known na uh, public speaker at uh, motivational speaker na katulad mo di ba partners Fabi and uh, Gilbert right. yep i agree i agree so kulang yung oras for Paolo but definitely mm. ang daming bagay to uh, again mm. to reflect on di ba parang you know what are what, what what is life in this new normal parang ganun mm. Ignite it. Ignite the, 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 that, that, the thing in you. Yung paano ka the fire paano. in us. Yeah, igniting the fire in us. Thank you, Paolo. Paolo Thank you, Paolo, so like much. To invite people regarding your show. I know you launched also your yeah. Paolo. 
uh, oh, oh. your own show. Pero, <laughs> Baka actually, you want to invite people. Sa uh, amin lang. Ah, alam nyo, really? kasi meron ako. <laughs> Oo, kalalabas nung aking online show. Nung Sabado, ah, i-invitahan ko rin kayo susunod ng mga araw doon. Um, yeah. it's, a, it's a work, siguro mga three years ago pa, na I'm always being encouraged by a lot of uh, my uh, co-speaker friends in the industry. So hindi ko lang kaya kasi yung weekly na pupunta ako doon sa studio and so on. In fact, nung Enero, hmm. we have to start na sana with the, uh, the largest uh, podcast ano, network in the country. Pero sabi ko hindi ko pa rin kaya kasi nga, I, I move around the country and abroad for engagement, speaking and so on and so on. So, ngayon nangyari. Ngayon nangyari with so much spreading nangyari na. I would like to invite everyone. Ito po yung pangalan. Sabi ko parang wawawin to eh. The Paolo T. Big Show. Para hindi na kayo mahirapan. Ganun ang dating. Uh, marami kami iniisip na pangalan dati. That's, uh, but basically, uh, The Paolo T. Big Show talks about any... Uh, uh, it's uh, anchored on uh, uh, the community of workplace excellence, PH which I also uh, started just recently because of the... Yun nga, Gilbert, tama ka eh. Ako naman yung mga proyekto hindi ko nagagawa. Ngayon nagawa ko na lahat, unti-unti. So yung mga content, etc., etc. na nagawa ko siya. At meron pa pala, nag-lose na ako ng 5 kilos sa sa anim na buwan. Ang hirap-hirap. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Ang hirap. By choice and not by chance. By choice talaga. I-push mo talaga. Ngayon nga, ayaw akong kumain. Alam niyo yan, parang ganyan. Parang magjujusing lang ako after our uh, show ninyo. And then yun na yun. So, anyway, I would like to invite you. I hope that you can join us also. The Paolo T. Big Show. It's uh, 7 p.m. every Saturdays. And our, uh, our uh, my guest by uh, by uh, by Saturday is uh, a very good friend, very good uh, corporate leader, uh, Rex Mendoza of Ramber Financials. Mm, yeah. AIA, Phil and Life, Ayala, and so on. Mm-hmm. Very, very dear friend. Rex Mendoza, yeah. Uh, Rex. So, yan. Uh, the Paolo TV Show. Tapos, imbitahan ko na rin po kayo, no? Uh, follow me on uh, YouTube. Follow me on... Paolo, pa- follow me follow on Instagram. Me. <laughs> Paolo, kasi followers nga ang tawag. Mm-hmm. Mga certified mm-hmm. followers. So, uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and so many things, no? We can also uh, share a lot of... Uh, visit my page. There's... Uh, May mga free webinar pa rin pong nandun. At uh, by uh, tomorrow, I'll be speaking to uh, another training company. Five o'clock, tigna, uh, ano ba yung title nun? It's Black and White Leadership Team. Uh, five o'clock, tignan nyo lang po yung detalye dun sa aking page at saka dun sa aking uh, social media account. So basically, mm-hmm. if uh, you wanted to collaborate and so on, just uh, hook up with us, patch with us. Email us, uh, palotibigcorporatetrainings at gmail.com or just uh, message us on uh, Facebook and uh, any platform. Sana po Thank you. Sa inyo. Fabi, Leo, Gilbert, I hope this is not the last time that I'll be sharing hopefully eh, with your show. I'm sure uh, uh, marami pa rin tayong pwedeng pag-usapan and I would like to also to connect with one another for all this time. Maraming maraming yes. salamat. Uh, thank you so much. Paolo. Thank you, Paolo. Thank okay, you, before Paolo. we yeah. before we finally end, partners, uh, bati na natin na uh, yung ating mga one ang caga talaga no hanggang natapos ay nandito sila sa part ko dito ang nakikita ko sa aking watch party. Maraming salamat kay Bell Spirito yung aking kababa ka, kapitbahay dito sa village. Maraming salamat Bell kay uh, Feb B. Cates or Sinining Tabla Team, maraming salamat. And of course, Jonna Figueroa Hoson. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And of course, all the others na uh, nag-leave na no, uh, after ng talk ni Paolo. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Partner, dyan sa page natin, may nakikita ka ba? Uh, ako, I want to greet si Gabby Cunyada who's still watching us. Nag-greet sa atin ang aking best friend na laging nanonood din sa atin. And then, of course, I also want to greet Marjorie Coxie and yung aking um, office mate dati sa dating network where I used to work for. And a lot of people here saying good evening, watching from Makati, Michael Rodriguez. Um, then we also have Christopher Garcia. And then um, marami pang nanonood po sa atin. And then even Raymond Cunyada from Iloilo. Mm. Uh, Mr. Erwin Montojo. Napaka- before I pass on Kai Gilbert, I just want to promote, I'll be uh, a guest this week on Thursday, and it's a free webinar on how to put up your own business and how to put up your brand. 
It's going to be sponsored by RefiNet, uh, makers of uh, mga cosmetic line. So if you want to create your own business and likewise, you there's already a product uh, that's waiting for you. It's just waiting to be branded. We will teach you how to be able to do that for free. Uh, just go to the RefiNet page on Instagram or Facebook. It's also here on Pinoy Kaya Muyan for people who want to join. It's just an hour and a half. And um, RefiNet is there to support us. And likewise, I'm there to teach on, on with regard to business strategies and how to uh, create your brand and even online presence. All right? Gilbert, on okay. to you. As, uh, as Paolo was saying, um, meron din tayong program that's our, what we're all promoting Paolo we have a Malasaki transition program ito ay uh, um, pinag uh, tutulungan ng mga HR na volunteer who actually wanted to help people that are uh, displaced and are impacted because of the COVID so for those companies who wanted to avail of our service on Malasaki transition to help your employees cope up with the pressure and the challenge of these times Please connect with us. Thank you, partners. And really great right. to be with Paolo too. All right. Yes. Maraming salamat sa aking mga partners and Paolo for uh, joining us this evening. Maraming kaming natutunan sa inyo. And don't forget mga ating mga supporters to also support Paolo in his show. Ayan. So this, uh, this is Fabi Carino joined by... Leo Helior and... Leo. <laughs> Dito sa programang Pinoy. Kaya mo yan. Pinoy? Kaya mo yan. Alright, so see you okay, again sorry, next Monday. Okay, sorry, may delay-delay tayo. Oh, may delay tayo ng konti. See you next Monday. See you next Monday. Bye.